What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Alex here. Uh, been a couple days, uh, a lot of work, travel, some other stuff, but uh, good to be back. And what better way to come back to making content than not an original idea, which is, makes my life easy. So we'll always jump on these. But uh, this is actually going to be a contest entry for the Vinyl Outsider. Uh, the Vinyl Outsider, it seems like him and I actually probably started our channels around the same time. Um, and he's doing a contest of a, a push for 100 subs. And so um, I'll get into what the contest is here in a little bit. Uh, of course, wouldn't be a video. Maybe that's why I don't post too many videos is because I've kind of shot myself in the foot here or the liver. And uh, I can't do a video without drinking anymore. So cheers, huh? Ah, ooh, that's good. Get that stone shoka base up. Get it. Anyway, Vinyl Outsider. He's been around for a few weeks. Um, super chilled. It seems like the, a really nice guy. Very laid back. Great presentation. I know he's been on some of Rachel's streams over at uh, Rachel's Ghost. And so um, really hoping he jumps up to 100 and then some because he certainly deserves it. Of course, he's you know given away a prize and all that kind of stuff, which is amazing. But that's really not what this is about. It's really about... Uh, supporting other folks the best that we can. So um, I'll say too is a super interesting and very different um, challenge here for the contest, which is to show a non-English language record. Um, you know, me, uh, many of you might know at this point, I'm a big prog guy and I could have shown some early PFM before they started recording those records in English. But I was really starting to think, what are some ways that we can kind of kill two birds with one stone here and bring a little bit of light to... I think a band, an artist, and a label um, that actually that needs it, and I think is uh, super cool. So, my uh, pick for the contest again, it's the Vinyl Outsider. I'll put all of his info below. I, I really encourage you to go check out his channel. Um, just again, seems like just the coolest person, and uh, yeah. But um, this record is a is a recent reissue um, that celebrated a 50th anniversary of the original. Uh, release of it back in 1973, uh, a band from Bolivia uh, called Wara, uh, and the album is called El Inca. Of course, you can probably figure this out, Musica Progressiva Boliviana, Bolivian progressive music. Obviously, I'm a very skilled translator. Uh, sorry about the glare there. So what's this? Well, first of all, again, this is a celebrating the 50th anniversary. This was put out by Garrison uh, records. I believe Garrison is out of Spain, but they have a, a particular contract, it sounds like, with um, Dylan down at Noble Records. Dylan down at Noble Records is obviously very well known in, in the vinyl community, and, and he recently started his own label, which is really cool. But I've always made a made a point to try to, to get his exclusives, their color variants, um, from his store. To me, him and labels like Garrison have done such a cool job and sort of like bringing back some of these artists and these bands from the dead in the sense of, you know, they might have been something locally. They might have been something out of their home country. They might have been something regionally across um, their country or here in the States, whatever that might be. But they never really blew up and they never really got the recognition they deserved. But their stuff is so good. And the fact that people like Dylan or the folks at this label are kind of going back and and kind of resurrecting a lot of these bands, I just think is the coolest thing. So so I always make an attempt to go... Um, and buy these from Dylan, uh, from, from his site, uh, just again, to kind of support and, and to bring some of these artists back. So, so what is this? Uh, th this is proggy. This is psychedelic. This is a little bit, oh, I hate the word whimsical. Cause I feel like we just use that when we don't know what else to say. There's huge, huge Uriah heap here, strong Hammond organ, maybe not as much Hammond organ as those early heap records. But there's violin, there's flute, there are long extended uh, pass musical passages, uh, wah-wah guitars. It, it's very, it, it's like, to me, and if you're, I, I guess, more familiar with a lot of the early progressive rock stuff, it, it's like hard and heavy Uriah Heap, deep purpley type stuff mixed in with more of the Canterbury stuff with some of the flutes or violins or string in instruments. It, it it's really difficult to uh, describe, but it's freaking awesome. Uh, I love this. I've uh, spun it several times when I got it weeks ago. 
And then today in preparation for doing the video, I spun it a couple more times um, and I'm just blown away. So um, they're from Bolivia and this is a Spanish language um, record. I'll say their, their reissue here that they did is pretty cool because it had some cool insert, liner notes, photos, all that type of stuff. What makes this so great from a reissue standpoint, and again, labels that are doing this type of stuff, is an original for this, an original Bolivian pressing of this goes for over $2,000. They did reissue it about 15 years ago or so, and that even is now going up for $100, $150 too. And so that to me is just the coolest of getting these things repressed or reissued because you're never going to see them again. Um, and again, since this is a Noble Records exclusive color variant, comes on this very cool sort of marbled gray wax. And yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's awesome. Musically, it's amazing. I do think some people might struggle with the non-English language thing. Um, it's just not something that people are used to. I think it's totally, I'm, I'm great with it. It is not a, um, you know, any sort of distraction for me whatsoever. And again, if you're someone who, ooh, I don't know if I've ever listened to non-English language music, it might be a bit of an adjustment, but I would say with something like this, since it is a little bit more proggy hard rock, there are those longer extended musical passages. So it's not like you're diving straight into like pop music with verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Uh, I think this would be a great way to, to sort of lean into it. Other reason I'm bringing this up is that this is still readily available um, over at uh, Noble Records Store. Um, Dylan still has these available. I think this uh, variant was limited to 500 um, and it's still available. So uh, if you're a progressive rock guy, if you're into some sort of deep, quirky, weird stuff from the early 70s, especially something internationally down in Bolivia, I cannot recommend El Inca from Wara enough. And uh, yeah, non-English language. Again, sort of fulfilling that uh, that contest entry for the Vinyl Outsider. So, yeah, again, help this awesome dude get to a thousand subs. He's great, and uh, tell him I sent you, or don't. I don't really care. But hey, cheers, man! Happy to do this. Uh, wishing you well, and uh, yeah, that's what this is all about, right? So, uh, yeah, enjoy uh, the rest of your week, everyone. Cheers, and go follow and uh, like and subscribe and do all the things to the Vinyl Outsider. His info is below, and uh, yeah, have a good rest of the week, y'all. Cheers. Mm. Kill it.